Hey guys, my name's Emily and today I'm filming a beauty haul video. Now I've not bought all of this in one shopping trip, it's kind of collected up over the past month or so. So without further ado I'm going to get started. So the first thing, and this is actually the most recent thing I bought, is the um, L'Oreal Paris um, Skin Perfection 3 in 1 Purifying Micellar Solution, which is a mouthful. Um, this basically is similar to Bioderma I've heard um, and it's kind of a cleansing water I suppose and basically I use this to remove my makeup um, using a, just a cotton pad and I find it a lot easier than um, I usually use um, Purity by Philosophy and I just think this takes off so much easier than that does and this is quite a bit cheaper than um, than Purity is as well but yeah I've only been using it uh, about three days so far but I do actually really like it and it's quite cheap so that's always an upside. <laughs> Next thing is something that the beauty world have been raving about for the past month, two months. It is the Naked 3 palette. Um, like number one and two it's got 12 eyeshadows and it's just oh, it's so nice now i do i have to say and a lot of people will probably want to shoot me for saying this but i do prefer number one than this because i think there's more that you can do with it um but it is so nice and the shadows are so pretty, the packaging is, is great, I think it's a lot more durable than um, the original which is the only one I own, um, I don't own Naked 2 as well, I've just got the original and 3, um, but yeah it's a lot more durable, this is like in a metal case uh, whereas the original is kind of like cardboard so it's a lot, it would travel a lot better if you wanted, wanted to take it on holiday or whatever. Um, so yeah, there's obviously like a wide range of colours, um, you've got your light pinks, um, there's a gold, kind of some duskier colours and um, kind of a reddish grey and then a kind of a reddish black which I've heard is very similar to MAC Beauty Marked um, which is fab. So yeah, I do, I do like it, I haven't really got around to using it much because um, I've, I ordered some new MAC eyeshadows recently as well so I've kind of been flicking between everything else that I have but I've used this probably three times now and I do really like it, it is, like I say, it is really nice um, and if, if you like pinky toned eyeshadows, kind of like MAC expensive pink, that kind of thing um, I think it is great, yes it's very nice oh and this retails for £37 by the way, I didn't mention that um, um, and you can get it from House of Fraser and Debenhams. I'm not sure where else. John Lewis may possibly do it. But I got mine from Debenhams online. So yes, that is the Naked 3. The next thing um, that I've got is something... It's not a new product. It's been out a very long time. Um, I'm just going to cut to the chase here. It's MAC Face and Body Foundation. I've got the shade N1. Now, the story behind this is... I ordered C3 in August, I think it was, and it is way too dark for me, like, it is so, so dark, like, I could probably get away with one layer of it, but any more than that, it just makes me orange, because I just got a too dark a shade, because I didn't go into the shop and test it, I just kind of guessed, so I ended up getting N1, because this is, I think this is the lightest shade that they do, so I thought if this is like really really pale then I can mix it in with a little bit of um, of C3 and um, when it gets to summertime and I have a little bit more of a tan then I can put more in. Um, but it turns out this shade is actually perfect for my skin right now. Um, I really, I do actually really like this, I like it more than I thought I would do um, because you can really build the coverage with it. Um, you can wear one layer and kind of have um, kind of a tinted moisturiser kind of... Um, coverage with it. Um, I tend to wear this two layers so um, 
so I just put my first layer on, then go again with the second layer. Uh, and this, that, it's not a full full coverage with two layers, but it's it gives me enough that I um, that I feel confident enough that my skin isn't red and disgusting and horrible. Uh, and it is also a great um, day to evening foundation as well because you can layer it. Um, if you were say you were at work in the daytime and you were going out in the evening, you can just put another layer on, and it doesn't go cakey and disgusting. Whereas another foundation probably would do. Um, so that is a bonus. Um, this is the 50ml version. This um, is £21.50. Um, you can also get the 120ml. I'm not sure if they do that at counters. I think they may only do that in stores, but that one is 27.50. But don't count me as that, but this one anyway is £21.50. Um, I ordered mine from um, their website from macrosmetics.co.uk. Uh, you can also get it from Selfridges. Some Debenhams still do Mac, I believe. House of Fraser definitely do. I think maybe John Lewis do as well, but you'll have to check um, where you can get it. But yeah, I ordered this online and I really like this. Another foundation, I'm a little bit addicted very addicted to foundation and it's the Bourjois Healthy Mix foundation uh, this is the shade 51 um, it's a little teeny bit too light for me but that's alright because I'm very pale anyway so I can kind of just build up and give myself a bit of colour using I've actually was actually using the um, Bourjois Bronzing Primer uh, which is the one in the tub I think that's what it's called um, I've, I was I've been using that with it kind of just down here like on my jaw and kind of across the top of my head just to give me a little bit more colour because it like I say it's very pale this shade and probably should have got the shade above but oh well it doesn't matter <laughs> it's all right for my winter skin tone shade um but yeah this is really nice if you kind of want um your skin to look like you're not wearing anything this is absolutely perfect because I put this on and it didn't look like I was wearing anything but still kind of gave me a little bit of coverage where I needed it um, and radiance which it does say radiance for real but sometimes they don't always give you radiance but um, the reason I kind of wanted to go for this is because I've heard it's very like one of the Chanel foundations I'm not sure which one it is, I think it may possibly be Pro Lumiere or Vita Lumiere, one of the two but apparently it's very similar because I think um, Bourjois and Chanel cosmetics are made in the same factory so um, don't, again, don't count on me for that because I'm not entirely sure if that is true but that's what, kind of what I've heard. Um, but yeah, I do really like this, again, I've only worn this a couple of times um, but I do like it and I have really liked it the past couple of times that I've, I've worn it. Um, this retails for £9.99 and I actually paid for this on my boots card with my points because I spend a lot of money in boots and my points add up very fast so which is always a bonus because uh, I did buy some other stuff as well so I didn't end up spending as much as I could have done because I got this on my points card but yeah it's um, 9 99 um, so kind of a higher end of drugstore foundations and I got it from Boots, um, you can also get it from Superdrug, um, wherever else I suppose stocks um, bourgeois but yes I got it from Boots and I am really liking it so far. The next thing I got is another drugstore purchase now Sleek um, used to only be sold in Superdrug um, but then they've recently actually brought it into Boots um, and I was in town on Tuesday and um, just popped into Boots I was just like oh I'll just have a browse and ended up coming out with too many things um, and one of them was this well one of them actually it was this foundation um, but another one is this sleek um, pout polish tinted lip conditioner and this is the shade pink Cadillac um, and it's kind of like the MAC tinted lip conditioners which I haven't tried but I've seen them in at the counter um, it smells really nice kind of vanilla-y I suppose 
I, this is really nice. I'm actually wearing it now. It's just added a little bit of colour. Um, yeah, I, I really like this actually. I, I do rate Sleek as a brand. Um, it's it's so affordable, but I think everything is such good quality. So um, I didn't think I would be disappointed with this. Um, these I think are four ninety nine. Um, yeah, I think that's a lot better than I think the Mac ones are probably fourteen pound, and literally it is near enough the same. And I think it's even the same size. So if you have got a sleek account near you, I would definitely recommend these because they're really nice, and I will definitely be going getting some more soon. And another product from Sleek is the Matte Me Ultra Smooth Matte Lip Cream, and this is the shade Fandango Purple which is rather an interesting name um, it's a liquid lipstick basically uh, and it's this gorgeous kind of pinky purpley shade um, I wouldn't necessarily say it's matte it it kind of feels kind of matte when you put it on but it's, it is kind of quite glossy but not super super glossy like a lip gloss would be um, but yeah, it's not it's not really very matte. But then again, it's so pigmented, it goes on really easily, much easier than if you were wearing a lipstick. Um, I'm not entirely sure about the lasting of it yet because I've not really worn it for a long um, amount of time, like throughout a day or whatever. Um, but I am excited to get some use out of this. And like I say, I have used it a couple of times, and I'll definitely 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 will be um, buying some more of these and for another lip product um, I've got the um, Rimmel Kate Moss lipstick um, one of the matte ones um, and this is the shade 107 and it's this gorgeous um, kind of it's not really burgundy but it's not red it's it is red obviously as you can tell but it's kind of got um, almost like a plumminess to it because um, when I initially saw it I thought it looked a lot like Max Russian Red but it's it's, it's not like that at all it's a lot lot different than that uh, maybe I'm just telling myself that so I can kind of get away with having too many uh, red lipsticks more than anyone really needs but um, yeah it is it is quite different to that to be honest and but yeah these are gorgeous they, they're only uh, I think it, £5.49 so obviously a lot cheaper than MAC lipsticks. Um, they don't stay as well, but um, I think for the price you're getting, for the price you're paying, you, you do get good, uh, quite a good quality for it. Um, to say like you know just over five pound for a lipstick is very good because at high end you're going to be paying at least fifteen, um, all the way up to in the thirties if you think about it so um, yes I do really like this um, and they smell really nice as well which isn't important but I don't know what the smell is but they smell exactly the same as the um, Rimmel Apocalypse lip lacquers um, which I got those a very long time ago now um, but yeah they smell exactly the same as those which I thought was really weird but um, yes um, I really like these like I say this is shade 107 um, definitely will be buying more of these and um, it's a matte finish I'm not sure if I said that but yeah um, but then it's not a super horrible drying matte finish like I know a lot of people say Ruby Woo from MAC is um, is very drying and it almost like cracks up on the lips because it's so matte that it just dries the lips out but this doesn't this is very nourishing and I really like it so that is and finally I have another product from MAC and it is their pigment in tan. It's still in the box right now. I have used it but I just kind of, I didn't want to take it out of the box because well, it's just so pretty <laughs> honestly. Um, I've never tried any of their pigments before. This is kind of the first one and I'm not really, I kind of just tend to go for um, pressed eyeshadows rather than, than um, loose ones. Um, but this is absolutely amazing now I would open it and try and show you but it's loose and it will go everywhere um, but this 
I'm not sure entirely how MAC described the shade. I think it's kind of like pinky gold. It's not tan like the colour says. Um, but it's kind of got a little bit of bronziness to it. It's, it's amazing. That is all I can say is it's just amazing and it is beautiful and I would definitely be buying a lot more MAC pigments because it does kind of seem like a bit of a splurge like £17 for this but if you think about it, you get a lot of product for um, for what you're buying and how much you're paying so um, they're extremely pigmented which obviously you expect it's called pigment but you know it's it's very iridescent on the eyes and it's just lovely I love this a lot and like I say these are £17 you can buy them from Max website House of Fraser Selfridges wherever Mac is sold so that is that and I love these a lot so that concludes my haul slash recent purchases. I don't know what I'm doing with my others right now. Um, I have bought more stuff than this, but I kind of couldn't remember what things I bought in the past like month or so. So I kind of just included these because I knew that I bought these recently. Um, thank you very much for watching and I will see you all very soon.